forgot to start the recording. <laughs> I am doing all right myself, Alpha Rat. Thank you. I took the time today to record some matches for for this Saturday I'm actually really happy with how, with how they turned out I gotta record like one more match tomorrow because I uh, uh, fuck Just kind of burnt myself out because I recorded three mat. Well, one of them is for weeks down the line. The other, the other two are for this, uh, this week. I gotta record another one for tomorrow. So that should be fun. Which, by the way, I should be having that card posted probably tomorrow night. Uh, maybe. No, they're gonna be uh, either after the stream tonight or tomorrow night. I haven't really decided yet. Eat some food beforehand. I got my dad uh, like a week or so ago. Got these. Uh, <laughs> they they are these microwavable. White Castle Slider Burgers. They're really fucking tiny. They come in packs of like, it's basically this giant box, but they come in packs of two because they're so small. And I, uh, yeah, yours, and it's like, yeah, you're, you're supposed to microwave them. And, uh, they're actually not too bad. Like, they are some of the better microwavable burgers I have had ever, really. Because the problem with a lot of like, especially ones where you can get like a deli at Walmart where they only have cheese and nothing else. The problem with a lot of microwavable burgers is that with all that cheese melting, it becomes a fucking mess. Like I remember grabbing like a double cheeseburger uh, from the deli while I was going on break. And I literally had to use a fork and a knife because the it was just so moist and the burger was so moist and messy from all the cheese melting on it that I it's just like I can't I, I I can't I cannot eat this thing with my hands. I have to eat this with a fork and knife. Now some of them aren't too bad, but like, yeah, the, the sliders, for example, they're, they're actually really good. But I don't know what it is, man. These ones right here, like, they've just... Ugh. But anyway, that has, uh, that, that's what my, uh, my entire day has been. This, was, this has been the only thing I've ever fucking eaten. I'm probably gonna eat some more stuff. I got a bunch of uh, ramen last night when I was heading out, so I might heat some of that up and eat and eat that. But with all that being said, uh, oh, wasn't that? And then now, now it is time to jump into our brand new playthrough. Gonna make sure everything's and bada boom. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, well, welcome back here at this very channel. I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, welcome to the new year. Welcome to 2023. Uh, still feels like we're in 2022. It literally just kind of, I, I don't know. Yeah, we're in a brand new year. 
and that means brand new playthrough and this time we are playing the first game in the uh the the pair of games of the rage series uh we we're playing the first game from bethesda yes exactly i don't know so maybe this actually isn't too bad but uh it's, I'm kind of getting, just from this main menu screen alone, I'm kind of getting a little bit Borderlands-y vibes. Which is another game I'd love to play in the future. Preferably with friends. Because I don't think you can, you can play Borderlands with, uh, with, with, without friends. I played the first game solo. And I tried the second game solo, but there are instances in the second Borderlands game that absolutely wreck you in the face. But, we'll get to Border- we'll, we'll talk about Borderlands whenever I decide to do that playthrough. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to try with keyboard and mouse. I don't, I, cause I've never played this game before, so I don't know how it will act with, there probably won't be any, any difference, but, oh, uh, with that being said, enough of me rambling, let's just jump into it. Uh, oh. Charming. Oh, oh no, I hear that compressed audio. I don't like that. Not what I was expecting from an intro for this. But uh, Meteor hit the Earth. Again. External disturbance detected. Cryogenic chambers compromised. Chamber Omega-5 online. Initiating Arc. emergency nanotrite activation. Three, two, one. Nanotrite sequencer online. Release cryogenic chamber seals. Internal arc temperature nominal. Rebooting internal data systems. Uh, yes. All nanotrite bio augmentation systems fully deployed. Nanotrites active. Current position unknown. Remote location beacon offline. Running full diagnostic tests. Arc external pressure seals fully released. Safe egress is now confirmed. Outer door lock disengaged. Initiate pre-recorded media playback. This is President Davis. You and your <laughs> volunteers are mankind's last hope. Our survival, our very existence rests in your hands. No one will know what you will find when you awake. But remember, you, 
and the contents of these arcs will form the final barrier to the extinction of mankind. Our prayers go with you, and Godspeed. End playback. Neat. Uh, hopefully the sound isn't overpowering me too much. I might turn it down a little bit anyway. Ah, bright light. Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm going lower a little bit. All right. <clears throat> there doesn't appear to be any FOV setting, unfortunately. Could be wrong, though. Yeah, nah. Nothing. Oh, fuck! Well, uh, thank you, stranger. Whoever you are. Hey, you! Over here! Hold on. It ain't safe here. Get in. Sure. I know you got questions, but we got to get moving. Uh, I like the little doom guy bobblehead. Bandits all over these hills. We best that, that's a going. charming little Easter egg. I'm Dan Hager, and you are one lucky son of a bitch. You know, ARC survivors are worth a lot of money to whoever hands them over to the authority. Wait, you don't even know the authority yet. Well, I guess you don't know anything about any of this. Well, yeah, I would say that's... Welcome to yeah, the that's true. I don't know what the hell's going on. That's a cool airship, though. Hold on. Got bandits. Damn shame you're still wearing that arc suit. It's a dead giveaway. Howdy. Pretty much their world out here. Probably looking for their buddies. Damn. Now we both got a problem. Well. Just fucking drive then. They're probably gonna shoot us anyway. We need to get to my place. Once they see what I've done, they'll be coming for blood. And for you. I've got a plan that might get us both out of this mess. Ah, uh, here we are. Home sweet home. Your home is very close to bandits, my guy. Oh, well, there's a bunch of people, so should be fine. We need to talk. Get out of the buggy. Exit buggy. Come on, this way. Oh, I love that. You know, I put a lot at risk to save you. Not just my life, but the lives of everyone here. Why the fuck did you I save me? I survived this long by staying out of trouble. 
Saving you may have changed all that. So here's what I need you to do. Head to where those bandits live and wipe them out, plain and simple. No one walks out alive, except you. You can use one of my ATVs in the garage and that pistol and the supplies on the table. Oh, and you won't just get my thanks. Come back alive and I'll dig up some armor that'll fit over that arc suit you're wearing. We got a deal? Uh, sure. Why the fuck is the mouse sensitivity so goddamn high? Like, look at this shit! It's ridiculous! Talk is cheap in this world. Action is needed. First, take the pistol supplies from the counter, then grab one of my ATVs and head up north to the ghost hideout. Don't come back until they're completely wiped out. You do this for me, and I'll give you some old arc armor to fit that arc suit you're wearing. Cool. Yeah, I. Well, cause like I, I heard it. I heard a little bit of Goodman, but I didn't want to be like those bandits certain? shouldn't be too hard to take down. Not for you. I hear there's something special about you, Ark people. Uh, what is what is that supposed to mean? You need to find their hideout and take care of the problem. It's us or them, and they'll be coming. You need to find their hideout and oh. take care of the problem. It's us or them. And they'll be coming. Hey, are you gonna give me this dinky ass little pistol to take out a whole ass fucking thing of uh of collector cards? Neat. My dossier. Oh, I don't like the the sound of what these cards are gonna have. Oh wait, Rage Frenzy? This game has a fucking triple triad fucking thing here going on here. Ooh, I like that. I want that crossbow. Give me the crossbow. Dude, give me the fucking crossbow. Drive the buggy though. Mm. Oh God, this is what I look like. You can't even see my face. I mean, if it's a Bethesda game, you have a character who can't see your face. I don't want to break hard. Oh, whoops. Oh wow, that... Wait, hold on, I need to look at something here. Alright, so you pretty much stop almost instantly with the, the break. Hmm. Almost instantly. Alright. Well... Uh... Stanley Express Mailbox. The Stanley Express is always looking for drivers willing to make dangerous deliveries. Inquire in Wellspring for more details. Ghost hideout. Oh shit. You can loot bodies by getting close and pressing E. Make sure to loot every body you find to stay stocked on ammo, ingredients, and cash. Ingredients, you say?
He's down there. Go carry him. You're fine. Like you. An aerosol can. Neat. Apophis Survival Guide. Can I read these? No, no, I cannot. At least they specify what um, items you can actually like use, what ones you're crafting, and what ones you could just sell. So. Uh oh. Wait, hold on. Time out. Time out. There we go. Fucking die. Oh shit, I didn't loot any of the bodies. The game literally tells me I can loot bodies and I just refuse to loot the first like three bodies I fucking shoot. Uh, Alright, where are you? There you are. Don't want to go there just yet. He's over there. Whoa. Oh. All right. Well, fuck. Let's head over here then. Wait a minute. Oh, there's this. Oh shit. Well, that didn't last very long. Uh, parlay? Well, well. Look at what Hagar said to us. How dare you think you can walk into our house? Take him to the kill room. Oh no, the kill room? Is that where I'm gonna get killed? Ah, you're awake. Good. I like my prey to know what's coming. I promise this will hurt. Ow, fuck. Defib, <sighs> you are near death. The nanotrites in your body can revive you and neutralize any hostile nearby. Wait for the nodes to charge up. Once the nodes have charged, they shoot towards each other. Yeah, you would think. Hey, buddy, can I steal your stuff? No. I'll take his stuff, though. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wasteland is a dangerous place. Be sure to save early and often. Like now?
Cat's messing with my ale and wrenches. In the reds. Oh, I thought you said us in the reds. I'm like, what? What does communism have to do with this? Oh shit! No, fucking, bro. There's like no. Is there? What the fuck? Dude, there's like no me- Okay, no, there is melee. I'm dumb. He's trying to flank us. Alright. Holy shit! I shot that guy like three fucking times. <laughs> Although I do like how they have the reaction of just like being punched where it's like you shoot them and they just go, ah, fuck dude, why? This just seemed mild, mildly annoyed than in pain. I'm going to over here and see if there's anything in here worth seeing. Like pistol rounds, for example. Buddy, you gotta learn when to stay down. Or fuck, play dead, live live to fight another day. Can I pick up these bottles? I can. Beer bottles. Come on, He's on the left. No, I'm not. Wait, how the fuck do I? How the fuck do I toss grenades? Hold on. Uh, crouch activate, sprint.
I sense his presence. Doesn't make any the fuck. All right, so if it's Q to All right, so how the fuck do I? What the fuck? Hold on, I'm... Melee attack and ammo, fists... Weapons lock to control. Alright, there's that. Really? It's the fucking F keys for my fucking... Oh my god, that's... that's annoying. Over there! I can rebind them, but I don't. I'm 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 a lazy fuck. <laughs> That's just so weird to me. It's like, why would that be the default key bind? Why not just have a fucking utility wheel? Anyway, zip lining time. Oh boy. Well, there was a bandit vehicle here earlier and now it's gone. Remember to visit Halak, or Halak, the, ha the Hagar settlement vendor. He'll buy all the junk you collected. Good work. We're all a little safer because of that. You got our thanks and that suit of armor I promised. But as you can see, we got other trouble. Listen, the settlement was attacked while you were gone. Bunch of bandits we've never seen before. They didn't take anything, they just came for the kill. We have some good people hurt. And we're running low on medical supplies. I'm gonna need your help again. Just past the hill across the way, you'll find another settlement. They tend to stick to themselves, but they're friends. And they have what we need. Just give this letter to Richter. He'll know what to do. Richter? If you help me again, Richard Belmont, I'll make sure our mechanic in town sets you up with your own buggy. What do you say? All right. 
And it's Raid of the Settlement, and we need your help again. We held them off, and thank God no one was killed, but we are in desperate need of medical supplies. I need you to head west to the Outrigger Settlement, and give this letter, letter to their leader, Rick, uh, Richter. He'll know what to do. Make it back with my medical supplies, and I'll have our local mechanic fix up a buggy for you. Thank you. And before you go, make sure you got everything you need. Ammo, wing sticks. If not, see Halleck. He's right under the old sign out front. All right. Please hurry back with those supplies. If we are raided again, we will surely need them. Thank you. Well, I don't think we'll need them now. Ah, uh, well, he's he's still alive. Don't no, no worry. He's he's alive. I didn't think the game was gonna let me just straight shoot the man though. <laughs> God damn it! Ah. I'm so used to using escape to get out of my inventory stuff, but since it still pauses the game, it's. Uh... <sighs> anyway, who am I looking for? Let me guess. I see Dan gave you a pistol. Not a bad weapon, but if you want some subtle killing power, you'll need to use a wing stick. They've got a nano core for smart targeting, but it'll still take a little practice to master. I'll make a deal with you. You prove you can hit something with them, and I'll tell Halleck it's safe to sell you some. Ready to give it a toss? Learning how to throw a wing stick may save your life, and I'm the best teacher around. It's pretty simple, just throw the wing stick at your target, and the nano core will do the rest. If the wing stick survives the impact, it will fly back to uh, where you toss it, so don't move around too much. Good hunting. All right, here are the rules. Watch for the pop-up targets and hit them as quickly as you can. See how many you can get before the timer runs out. The top targets with three points collect ten points to prove you're ready for a wing stick. Follow the rules and you'll do great. Good job. You're almost out of time. Woo! Cool. I can now get a wing stick. Nice job. If I were a target drone, I'd be nervous. Talk to Halleck and he can set you up. Cool. You just received five wing sticks and you can now buy more from vendors. Remember, you can equip up to four quick use items. You want to give it another go? Now nah, I'm good. Welcome, stranger. Name's Halleck, and it's a pleasure meeting you. I run this little shop. Got enough supplies here to keep you alive and fighting best stuff in the wasteland oh and uh, if you find something of value and you don't need it bring it here I pay nicely for quality goods care to uh, browse my selections I might have something you need well I need a f uh, I hate this fucking mouse sensitivity dude Hope to see you again soon. What you looking for? Oh, it still doesn't help with my... And the mouse is getting fucky. What the hell? Bro, what the fuck? This is actually really fucking annoying. Rage, your mouse sensitivity is inconsistent as fuck. To do business with you again. I might have something you need. All right.
Oh, and it doesn't fucking tell you. Authorags. Oh, it does tell you. All right, I'm stupid. All right. Monocular. Uh. I'd like an assault rifle. Let's buy some ammo. I think I have more than enough ammo. Some bandages, though, are gonna be a must. And we'll buy ourselves a monocular. See you soon. Cool. Half a binocular, the good half. So it's like, is this like a weapon? Oh, neat. That's what I look like. Ooh. All right, God damn it. There we go. Looking for Richter. He's up there. If you got business here, go and talk to Richter. He's the man in charge. You need something, stranger? Hmm. Well, Dan's run into some trouble again, I see. Well, Janice is going to need to see this list. Go on. She's just up there. You're the note, but when you're done, come back here. I may have something that'll interest you. <laughs> cool. You must be one of Dan's new boys. Let me see what you need. Hmm. Some of these things I'll need to track down, but you know the way it works here. We help you, you help us, right? A member of our group, Juno, went missing a few days back, and I'm getting real worried about him. So while I gather your supplies, how about you go look for him? If you find any trace of him, I'll reward you with my own recipe for making healing bandages. Can you please do this for me? I saw heard he was headed up the radio tower to the southwest. Please look for him for me. If you find trace of him, I'll reward you with the re recipe for bandages. All right. Good luck, and I pray that he's safe. It's not like I can really decline your offer anyway. Couldn't help but notice, stranger, that gun you're carrying isn't much of anything. 
Could set you up with some real firepower. Help us out here, and I'll give you a real weapon. Oh, sure. Our radio tower up on the hill stopped working. We need someone to fix it. Yeah, probably just out of alignment. You get it fixed for me. I'll give you a shotgun. Sound good? Ooh. Yes, that does sound good. This should be an easy job. I like a good combat shotgun. Got a lot of work to do here, pal. If you need something, come by later. Maybe I can help. All right, so blue on the map means you can only go for it on, uh, you can only, you can only go through it on foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the post-apocalyptic setting isn't too bad. I'm so tired of this job. I said earlier, it kind of gave me Borderlands vibes, but minus all the comedy. Oh, you really just aimed the thing. Okay. I think I heard something. Over there! I don't know how that works. Uh, sure. There he is! Bro, I shot you in the head, you should already be dead. Alright, I saw two potential pathways. Then again, this one over here could have just been like dead end. Yeah, dead end. Not exactly though, because I got more cards. Oh, it's a fucking... It's a, it's a poop bucket. Hey, over there. A poopy hole. Oh, motherfucker! You're oh my god, that fucking ah oh, the age old joke. evidence of Juno's whereabouts. What the f Ow. Well, he he did. <laughs> Our buddy, your little buddy Juno is dead, boy. Uh, I don't want to head over there 
right yet because I saw another area I would like to explore. Really? All right, well, now I know. We can't jump from that too high a height, apparently. I thought I was gonna be okay. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? This is where the checkpoint is? Uh, all right, well, at least I can prevent myself from buying the monocular because I don't really like that, personally. But still, that's fucking stupid. Why did it take me all the way back here? Ah, been spoiled by auto saves. Yes, I know. Good work. We're all a little safer because of that. You got our thanks and that suit of armor I promised. But as you can see, we got other trouble. Listen. The settlement was attacked while you were gone. Bunch of bandits we've never seen before. They didn't take anything, they just came for the kill. We have some good people hurt. And we're running low on medical supplies. I'm gonna need your help again. Just past the hill across the way, you'll find another settlement. They tend to stick to themselves, but they're friends. And they have what we need. Just give this letter to Richter. He'll know what to do. If you help me again, I'll make sure our mechanic in town sets thank you. And before you go, make sure you got everything you need. Ammo, wing sticks. If not, see Halleck. He's right on. Please, hurry back with those supplies. If Let me guess. You want to know how to throw a wing stick? Ain't easy, friend. I see Dan gave you a pistol. Not a bad weapon, but if you want some subtle killing power, you'll need to use a wing stick. They've got a nano core for smart targeting, but it'll still take a little practice to master. I'll make a deal with you. You prove you can hit something with them, and I'll tell Halleck it's safe to sell you some. Ready to give it a toss? Good hunting. All right, here are the rules. Watch for the pop-up targets and hit them as quickly as you can. See how many you can get before the timer runs out. Good job. You're almost out of time. Good job. Cool. Nice job. If I were a target drone, I'd be nervous. Talk to Halleck and he can set you. Damn bandits. We got attacked while you're gone. We drove them off, but they still did a good amount of damage. Welcome, stranger. Name's Halleck, and it's a pleasure meeting you. I run this little shop. Got enough supplies here to keep you alive and fighting. Best stuff in the wasteland. Oh, and uh, if you find something of value and you don't need it, bring it here. I pay nicely for quality goods. Care to uh, browse my selections? What do you need, pal? All right, well, sell, sell, sell. See you soon. I might have something you need.
hope to do business with you again. Yep. Yeah. was funny I, I was actually I thought that was gonna fucking kill me <laughs> got a lot of work to do here pal if you need something come by later maybe I can help looking for Richter he's up there if you got business here go and talk to Richter You need something, stranger? Hmm. Well, Dan's running into some trouble again, I see. Well, Janice is going to need to see this list. Go on. She's just up there. All right. You're the note. But when you're done, come back here. I may have something that'll interest you. You must be one of Dan's new boys. Let me see what you need. Hmm, some of these things I'll need to track down, but you know the way it works here. We help you, you help us, right? A member of our group, Juno, went missing a few days back, and I'm getting real worried about him. So while I gather your supplies, how about you go look for him? If you find any trace of him, I'll reward you with my own recipe for making healing bandages. Can you please do this for me? Yes. Good luck, and I pray that he's... Couldn't help but notice, stranger, that gun you're carrying isn't much of anything. Could set you up with some real firepower. Help us out here, and I'll give you a real weapon. Our radio tower up on the hill stopped working. We need someone to fix it. Yeah, probably just out of alignment. You get it. Good luck. This should be an easy job. All right, move. Out of the way. I'm gonna fucking save it this time. <clears throat> Any excitement on I your end? Alright, I'm actually gonna see what's in this path over here.
A wasted garage. You must have a lock grinder to open the door. You can build it, them in the engineering dossier if you have the schematic and the parts. Right, so we have two areas we can probably head back to. It's this and then there was the ghost territory hideout. There was only one this time. There we go. <laughs> Get back to the ATV right quick. need to be warned about those mutants take this firework cluster to the ridge north of here and shoot it off i've got a launcher there it won't be hard to find but hurry we're moving soon this place is getting too dangerous if i see those fireworks i'll give you uh what i paid you now excellent now take this firework cluster and shoot it off on the ridge <coughs> a launcher there it isn't hard to find well not bad stranger didn't know about the mutants we usually don't get them this far out. You did good, though. See Janice. She's waiting to hear what you found. Woo! That's a fucking shotgun. Oh-ho-ho! -ho. Juno's dead? I knew something was wrong, but I had hoped he would show up. This world takes so many good people. But thank you for looking. And here is what you need, as well as the plans to make your own healing bandages. Just look for the things listed and put them together. They will help you whenever you are hurt. Thank you again, and good luck. Cool. <clears throat> you served your first engineering recipe. To use it, go to the engineering screen in your inventory. Uh, where the fuck is my mouse? There it is. What was it? Uh, 
Authorize an antiseptic formula. Oh. Alright, well, I'm gonna go do this firework thing Stay right quick. Before you go. These hills are crawling with bandit tribes. They mostly fight each other, but if they find you in their turf, they'll kill you first, then figure out if you're friendly or not. You watch yourself. Alright, now, I gotta figure out, can I? Do I have, like, a journal that I can access? Yes, I do. So, we're gonna do the mutant alert first, and then do medical supplies last. Let's go. Find the launcher at the top of the ridge and fire that cluster. Be safe, strength. All right, so you don't want anything from me. Oh shit! That actually gave me a fucking jump scare. God damn it! <laughs> from here. Great job. And here's what I promised you. Thank you for the money. Good work. I'm starting to think I made a good decision by saving you. You truly are someone we can trust, and I am in your debt. Now go talk with DR about that buggy. Look for him in the garage.
We needed those supplies. Thank you. Life in the settlements has never been easy, but Dan keeps us together. His instincts about who to trust have always been right. Why do I get the feeling that's foreshadowing? Hey, pal. Care to browse my goods? What you're looking for? Well, firstly, let's sell all this crap. Destructible items. Well, let's go ahead and buy ourselves the assault rifle. This has backed by a fuckload, but you know, it's probably gonna be over that in the long run anyway. So, uh, There we go. I think we'll be well stocked. Hope to see you again soon. It's an AK. Nice. Hey, buddy. Dan said you were taking that old buggy off my hands. Truth is, not a bad vehicle, but see, it needs work and parts. The work I can do, but the parts you're gonna need to get. Johan, back at the Outrigger settlement. Johan! Sound good? Truth is, that buggy isn't a bad vehicle, but it needs some work and some parts. That work I can do, but I need you to get the parts. Here. <coughs> Take this list over to Johan, but he can help. You bring back those parts, and I'll get this buggy back on the road. Okay. See you back here when you get the parts. Hey, come over here. Oh, go. I've got one word for you to remember. Felt right. You know what felt right is? <laughs> no, probably not. Well, let me tell you. Felt right was inside that asteroid that darn near wiped out the whole planet. But what it left behind? Now that is interesting. Felt right, ore from outer space. Powerful stuff. You get your hands on it, you keep it. Only trade it for something really good. I will keep that in mind. That's kind of like the, um, uh, fuck, what is it called? The, the, the purple shit from, uh, and back with more Borderlands comparisons. It's like the purple shit you collect from, uh, from Borderlands for, like, really good shit. I can't remember what it was called, though. I'm actually going to save it because I haven't saved it in a hot minute. So, DR needs some parts for that old buggy. Hmm. Man, he should just junk it. Now, I'd like to give the parts to you, but I'm afraid I have a small problem. I'm afraid bandits raided my garage not too long ago and ran off with most of my spare parts. You're gonna need to go down to their hideout near the old dam and find what you need. Think you can handle this? Could get a bit hot in there. Uh, I'd give them to you if I could, but bandits raided my garage and ran off with most of my spare parts, including the piston assembly, alternator, and the distributor cap you need. Take these fat boys and this lock grinder schematic. You'll need them. That fat boy ammo does a lot of damage, and that lock grinder will open uh, especially locked doors. The wasted garage is to the north of the old dam. No need to come back here. Just get those parts back to uh, Durar uh, at the Hagar settlement. Uh, 
It won't be easy taking on the bandits on their own turf. Here, take some fat boys for your pistol. That ammo kicks some real butt. And in case you run into any locked doors, take these plans to build a lock grinder. They do exactly as their name says. Good luck. Wait. You receive 12 Fat Boys, a new ammo type for your pistol. Fat Boys are much stronger than regular pistol rounds. You can select the ammo, uh, ammo type when you equip your weapon. Ooh. That's neato. Yeah, I know. It's tragic. Who's this wanker? Get it! Yep, I know. Hell yeah. Do you see what they're working on downstairs? Oh, fuck yeah. Big fucking turrets on the car. Those settle regs were no one in them. I don't trust the boss for that gun. He's out of his tree. You don't know here! Oh, bloody hell, I'm fucking... Oh. Move back! Don't let him pass! Pull him back!
out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nope, that's not what I want. Oh my god, getting all my buttons are mixed up. A lot of bottles. Both beer and water. Let's see here. Can I craft myself another uh, little thingamajig here? I can.
Hey, did you catch that episode of Bash TV last night? Fuck yeah! Hey, did you catch that episode of Bash TV last night? Oh! Fucking hell! Come down! God damn. There he is. Well, that was, uh, convenient. There he is! I'm down! These cars look really nice. All right, cool. We have all of our car parts now. There he is.
Adrenaline overdrive increases your max health for 60 seconds. All right. Eltrite crystals. All right, then. I like that. <laughs> oh, we're gonna head back in here right quick. I just want to see if there's anything in the upstairs uh, area. Probably not. Yeah, there isn't. Oh, hey, those guys are on. Uh, cool, I guess. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's where the dude picked me up at, huh? Yeah, that was. All right. I'm back, back to the settlement on a admittedly sick new ride. Who the hell are you? You're not thinking about going down into that sewer, are you? Those sewers are dangerous, you hear me? Dangerous! Why? Got mutants down there hoarding everything they can find. I hear it's good stuff, too. Stuff taken from people they kill. Listen, don't you go trekking around down there without some serious firepower. God only knows what might be waiting for you. Well, good to know. And why the hell do you stand on the outside of a sewer filled with mutants? Beats me. Whee! Bandits control the blockade at the south end of the valley. Stay away from that, unless you bring some serious firepower with you. Hey, pal. Care to browse my goods? What do you need, pal? Well, I got some shit I can sell you. A lot of good shit. So apparently Feltrite Crystals uh, are good to keep. How's that? Bullets with bullets within bullets within bullets, and they all fire at once. And it's kill. It's called the kill bursts. Nice. Hope to see you again soon. You ever hear any strange old sewers? They say pre-impact stuff. Not really safe though. But the things you could find down there. Valuable stuff, as long as the mutants don't get you.
Look for the old sewer hatches around the wasteland. That's the only way to get into them. But don't let the mutants corner you down there, or you'll never get out. I might, uh, I might, I might hop down and see what uh, can be waiting for me. Those parts should do the trick. Okay, the buggy will be ready soon, but there are a couple things you have to know before you take that thing out for a ride. Remember, the wasteland is a dangerous place. Give me a call if you ever smash your vehicle up and can't drive it. I'll give you a lift back here. And also, if you need any repairs, just drive back to the garage and I'll fix her up. Okay, let me get these parts installed and you'll be all set. Go ahead and grab that radio on the counter there. Nice. You're ready to go. Take it out for a spin, but remember, call me if you need a tow. All righty then. Go ahead and get in it. Drive carefully. We're gonna head over to those sewers because I want to know what's down there. We gotta save it first, obviously. I'm just quite curious. It's probably like, oh, God damn it, I just warned him. Oh shit. You know what? That actually wasn't too terrible. Does this take me back up to... Oh! Really? Huh. That's a lot of really good ammo in that, but... You made it back in one piece, I see. 
There are sewers all over the wasteland. Just look for the hatches. That's if you're crazy enough to go looking for them. That's, I need a, what is this? Electrical wire kit is what I need. Hey. So that's what those are. I buy and sell everything that you need in these parts. What you're looking for? I thought I did get one. Hold on. With you again. Oh, yep, there we go. Alright, so... No. Actually, I do need what to buy need some now? ammo. Luxha, I think I'm pretty much good on. Yeah. I'll buy a couple for good measure. See you soon. Alright. We're gonna head over back to that ghost territory. Because I wanna see um what that one locked door might uh hold. Cool. That was the only thing that was here, right? That was the only locked door? I actually cannot remember. So we're gonna go through this area right quick. <laughs> Just making sure I clean this area out. I can't even go, go back through here anyway. Okay. Let me, there we go.
How do you like that buggy? It isn't much now, but you put some guns on it and you'll be able to go up against just about anything. Now, you ready for some more work? Uh, sure. Some bandits have taken control of the checkpoint at the canyon entrance, trying to cut us off from the big town to the east. And we can't let that happen. I need you to use your special talents for a demolition job. You think you can do this for me? I'll even let you use my trusty sniper rifle for the job. Uh, the Shroud Bandits constructed a blockade in the canyon uh, just south of here, and it's cut us off from Wellspring to the east. Take these explosive charges and place them on the gate. Here's my sniper rifle. Use it from the cover on the road. And be careful, the blockade is heavily defended. Take out that blockade, and I'll make it worth your while. Excellent. Here are some explosive charges. Just place them on the gate and run. Good luck. Okay, cool. That did. Use up my fist slot. Cool. I just didn't know if fists were going to be a mandatory weapon I need to have. <laughs> Sniper rifle is great for taking out far away enemies. Press the E while zoomed for maximum zoomage. <laughs> I love how they use that that uh, that 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 wording there. Do this for for the get maximum zoomage. <sighs> it's funny. I like that. All right. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. Out. Whoops. I like the idea of putting guns on my buggy, though. Oh, shit. That was. Oh, my God. Uh oh, well, uh. That takes care of him. What the? Not good! He's below! Get me out of here! I thought my fucking buggy was gonna fucking get destroyed there. Uh, it's a good thing it wasn't. What is this? Is that another sewer, sewer entrance? No? Okay. Hey, Parker. You're looking good out there. Care to test your skills on a course? 
Come back and see me if you dare. Out. Uh, yeah, repair. Thank you, thank you. I've put together my own little time trial race. You want to give it a go? Nothing too challenging. It's just a little course that I race on. Tell you what, beat my time, friend, and I'll give you a nice little boost to take rid of your buggy. Do you want to give it a shot? Race down to the flag and back. Just look on your map if you get lost. But remember, the most direct route may not be the easiest. And match to beat my time will give you an even flow two times boost. Yes. Good luck. I'll take a boost. A nice little boost. to race down to the flag and back. Just look on your map. Easy, hmm? But remember, the most direct way may not be as easy as it looks. You all set? You beat my time and the boost upgrade is yours. Hey, 10 seconds. Nice. Calling a tow, uh, calling for a tow in Wasteland also gets your vehicle well, repaired for free. I am impressed. You are, as we say, a natural behind the wheel. And wait till you feel the boost kick in on that old buggy. All right. Remember, if you need your vehicles repaired, just pull them into the bay, and I'll see what I can do. Nice. I'm actually going to see what happens if I complete this uh, wing sick thing again. You want to give it another go? Oh shit, I got 30. Nice. Nice job. If I were a target drone, I'd be nervous. All right. Great work. You know, you being here has made this area a lot safer for me and my family. We are in your debt. So now that we can travel safely, it looks like our time together may be coming to an end. I'd like to keep you here. A guy like you is valuable in a place like this. But you're just going to attract too much attention, and that'll bring in the authority. But there is one more thing I need you to do. Oh? Mayor Clayton runs the town of Wellspring to the east, and I've got to get a message to him. And you, you're the only one that can do it. Our supplies are getting low, and the mayor's promised help. We need to get restocked before the bandits cut us off again. Can you make the trip? Our supplies are running low, and Mayor Clayton over in Wellspring to the east has promised us, uh, has promised us help. Take this letter and show it to Mayor Clayton. Bring back whatever supplies he gives you. Try and remember, you ain't got any guns on that buggy. You help us one last time, and I'll make sure Mayor Clayton takes care of you. I knew I could count on you. Remember, you ain't got any guns on that buggy of yours. You run across any bandits, you get away as quickly as possible and get to town. It'll be safer there. Here. Remember, 
Remember, that buggy isn't ours. Get to town as fast as you can. Stranger, you got business here. You need to see Mayor Clayton. Wait a sec, I'll tell him you're here. Don't you move. Hello, sir. Got a man here to see you. Looks like Dan's in him. Interesting. Send him to me right away. The mayor can see you now, but hold on. We got a few rules here in Wellspring. You see, people don't exactly take to strangers here. Just you keep your head down and mouth shut, and you'll do just fine. Folks here are mighty suspicious. Hey, Sasquatch Wing, thank you for the raid of the party of one, dude. How was your stream? What were you doing? Okay. To get to the mayor's office, just cross the courtyard once For those of you who don't know who I am, I am Beowulf the Bounty Hunter. Beowulf is my name, but bounty hunting is indeed my game. I, uh, you know, hunt down baddies in the Badlands, and I do, uh, and once I'm done, I'm, I'm, I just come back to the bunker and I do this for you guys. That, that's all I do. That's all I do. Nothing too serious. You're playing Yakuza 5? I haven't... The only Yakuza game I've ever touched was, um... Yakuza Kiwami, which is the remake of the first game. That's about it. I like to play the other Yakuza games. Boy. Steward. If you're looking for a race, go see Jackie Weeks. He's in the back of town. You can't miss him. Just look for the big... The big inflatable gorilla. You knew? Yeah, yeah, because Kwame is really fun. I'd like to be one of the first to welcome you to our little town. It's a decent place, and the authority doesn't come around much. Not sure where you came from, but everyone is welcome here in Wellspring. If you haven't spoken with our mayor yet, I'd do it People right quick. This is mayor it's my great pleasure Jackpots to is closed. Authority is gone and shut her down. But if you're looking for a game of today. chance, keep your eyes peeled for know, pickup games around to town. There's always some days. fool willing to risk his money just to take a little of yours. Strong. If you so find yourself low on cash, town. these games Why are a great way to make a little extra. All right, how the fuck am I supposed to know, like, which way's the mayor's office? Will you look at how you're dressed? I haven't seen anyone wearing an arc suit for a long time. Dangerous thing you're doing there. Yeah, Be we're uh, we're just playing I've some. We're playing the first game in the uh, the for. Rage series, a series the of two games. Profiles you can around here. Don't let people know you're from the past. Rewards are large for turning one of you in. But lucky for you, I hate the authority more than I need money. And? Out to lunch, back in five. Me too. This is Mayor Clayton's town. He founded it, then convinced just about everyone to live here. Safety in numbers, he said. And he was right. As long as you're in town, you'll be safe. But out in the wasteland, well, that's a different story. We've always got space for new races. All right, so that's the Wellspring Speedway. Well, I got everything you need to keep your vehicle working, right? Now listen, 
I only take racing certificates for any upgrades or parts, and you gotta win those on the racetrack, nothing else. So if you wanna deal with me, you best see Jackie Weeks first. He's always on the lookout for new racers. Yeah, I... I, I see more Borderlands in this than uh, than Fallout, I feel. Hell, even this sound reminds me of a uh, fucking... I think it's called Haven in Borderlands 2. Or New Haven, I think it would be called. And where the fuck? Well, that's the sheriff's office. Maybe this will lead me to where I need to go. No? Kind of annoying because the game doesn't give me a map of the town. Sure, I saw them. Mutants, 10, 20 of them. All over that valley. I had a hold of someone. Just ripping them apart. That's why you'll never catch me leaving here. Never. You're new here. Stranger, huh? <laughs> yeah, you do look pretty strange. Well, well, fuck you too, mate. Uh, if you're right. looking for Mayor Clayton, he's right over there. Right, why do, right, what is he right here? No, wait, what the fuck? The mayor and Sheriff Black run this town. Don't start any troubling. Second chance bar. Hold it there, pal. The bar isn't open to drifters. You want a drink in this town, you gotta pass muster with the mayor. If he's cool with you, then we all are. All right. I like the look of the guards. They look pretty cool. A recent trade agreement with the town of Gun Barrel in the Southern Territories. This trade route will be a great benefit to all of us and will open up commerce to one of the territory. Remember, working together benefits every citizen and makes this town stronger. Thank you for your attention. Oh, I'm completely lost in this fucking place. <laughs> Oh, job board. Missing person, clean the arc area sewers. Definitely got to look at those. Where the f- Oh, office of the mayor. I'm a fucking moron. An absolute fucking moron. Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outposts. Nicest people you'll ever find live right here. Friendly folk, not your wasteland bandit scum. Good honest people. Well, enough with all that. So I hear you have a message from our friend Dan. Let's have it then. Having some trouble with bandits in the settlement again. Dangerous life out there. Deadly, even. Well, I can get all this stuff he needs. Gonna take some time, though. Not sure how long. He must really respect you to give you this important job. So for now, I'll trust you, too. You can stay here in Wellspring while I'll get his supplies, but not dressed like that. You'll bring the authority sniffing around, and I sure don't need that. So, you'll need to lose the arc suit for something a bit more modern. <laughs> Go see the vendor in town. Get some new clothes. I don't care what you do with that suit, as long as no one sees you in it again. You blend in. Understand? All right. Good. Glad we understand each other. When you come back, we can have another little chat. Ah, uh, a vault boy. Hey, speaking of Fallout. Oh, uh, actually, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. This game was made by Bethesda, so. That's all right. So we have the vault boy bobblehead and then there was the the, the doom guy bobblehead in Dan's car. Attention all citizens. Sheriff Black has reported a sharp increase in bandit activity north of the city. Please restrict all non-emergency travel until it's once safe again. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm? Hmm? A man from the past walks through my door, goes to show you that no one needs nothing around here. But let's first talk about that suit you're wearing. I can take it off your hands for a fair trade and get you something uh, a little less, well, noticeable. Each of the suits possesses unique characteristics. It's up to you to decide what works best for you. Oh, okay. Look like a local, receive a discount on all cash purchases, vehicle parts not included. Roughnecks are rugged, increase your protection from all the stuff that hurts, vehicles not included. Build stuff like a pro, enhance most of the cool things you engineer, pocket protector not included. Alright, so basically, do I want discounts on everything? Do I want, uh, do I want to tank, basically be a tank? Or do I want to craft them? stuff uh well i mean honestly hmm receive a discount on all cash purchases not terrible. I also don't mind protection. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go roughneck. But you accept it cannot be changed. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. Oh, the roughneck. Very good indeed. Remember, I buy and sell all manner of goods here. Care to trade? Actually, kind of curious. What else you sell here? Oh, just okay. General stuff. I upgrade to your current armor. Or just the spread. Oh, that's actually really good. Shoot more, reload less. A fully automatic light machine gun. I know what I must do. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what I can sell here. Anything worth selling? Oh, he yeah, that. Two hundred ninety-six sniper rounds. I don't really plan on using a sniper rifle. Doing business well. with you. I have all the best supplies. Oh, but you, that that fucking that stabilizer is definitely something uh, I I want. So, and you know, fuck it. Just getting that out of the way. My own ammo. Alright, let's get some AR rounds in and another set of rifle rounds. Good day to you. This is definitely something I'm gonna look at. But now we have that. Return to Mayor. That's much better. Now you look like any other good, hard-working citizen. But we got another problem. You see, you can't just leave your vehicles parked outside my town. We're civilized here. We have rules. And since it looks like you're gonna be here a while, you're gonna need a place to park your stuff. Go see Mick across the way in the garage. He can help you. Got that? Yep. After you talk to Mick, go see Sheriff Black. He should have Dan's supplies all set by then. <laughs> You're gonna like our Sheriff. 
Seen Mick yet about a garage? What are you waiting for? Attention, good people of Wellspring. It is my pleasure to announce a recent trade agreement with the Well, well, well. How did it do to you? And what can Mick do for you? Oh, a garage? Well, you come to the right place. So here's the deal. Fairest in the wasteland. You let me do all the repairs on your vehicles, and guess what? That covers the rent for the space. What a deal. And I see you got one of them shortwave radios. Mighty handy here, mighty handy indeed. So if you get into a jam and need a tow, why, just get on the radio and give me a blast. <laughs> How's that for service? That is perfect. That door there will get you into your garage. Or just drive up to the main gate outside and I'll let you in. Couldn't be any easier. And lastly, welcome to town. Nice. Vehicles are parked in the Wellspring garage. The garage entrance is in mix. All right, now we got to go see the sheriff. Hmm. Got something to you got you got something to say to me, bitch? I'll fuck you up. When the mutants give you the blues, we're here for you. Let me guess. You're the stranger that Clayton says is taking some stuff to Dan's place. Now I'm afraid it isn't gonna happen quite so easily as that. No way I'm sending all these supplies with you in an unarmed buggy. Might as well dump the damn stuff on the road. What you gotta do here is see Rusty by the track entrance. He can get you all set up with some guns. You got it? Get some firepower and then you can take Dan his supplies. See Rusty by the track entrance and he can get you up with some guns. Get some firepower. Then you can come back and take the supplies. Now listen, I only take racing certificates for any upgrades or parts, and you gotta win those on the racetrack, nothing else. So if you wanna deal with me, you best see Jackie Weeks first. He's always on the lookout for new racers. Wait. Are you serious? Hey, my friend. I must say, you do look like a racer if ever I saw one. Why not try your luck on the track and earn some racing certificates? Trust me. They can be mighty useful. Greetings. Name's Jackie Weeks, and I'm the empresario who runs all the high-speed races in Wellspring. And I do mean all. If you're interested in testing your skill, you can go talk to my business associate over there, Slim. He can get you all set up to race. And do come back if you feel the need for some speed. Ah. Uh, I get that reference. All right, we're slim. Are you slim? We're slim. We don't care much for outsiders. I don't care much for you either. Greetings, stranger. <laughs> you look like a racer to me. Hey, you ready to try and win some racing certificates? Sure. Welcome, friend. Name's Carl, but seems like everyone calls me Slim. <laughs> Funny, huh? All right, the deal is, if you want to race, you talk to me. Now, just take a look at all the events we have here. Find something you like, and assuming you meet the requirements, then you're in. All the prizes aren't racing certificates, you know. Good to get new vehicle upgrades at Rusty's. <laughs> well, everyone needs those. Man, it's kind of disappointing that your name isn't Jim. Check out what races are available. All right, beginner's luck. Oh, shit. All right. On combat race, minigun race. I'm trial. No. Drive safe. <clears throat> oh god. Let's do a time trial. Let's see how that goes. Welcome, race fans, to another exciting Dusty Eight event.
Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Okay, I can space bar to do hard turns. Those are boost recharges, okay. There we go. And you know what? Fuck it. We'll use another. We'll do another one. Interested in winning some racing certificates? Non-combat race. Let's go. Drive safe. Welcome racing fans, it's a scorcher out there today, but our drivers can take the heat as they prepare to go head to head. God damn it. Oh, first place just in the nick of time. Woo. Fuck you. <laughs> Parts for sale here. See anything you like? A dune buster. I could just buy all.
purchase that. Uh, id theme one of the last remi reminders of a long dead race of game developers wear it with pride I don't want the rocket launch. I kind of want the mini guns installed, honestly. See you soon. I assume I just go back to see the sheriff. Good job. Those guns should keep you safe. Minov. Go ahead and grab the supplies now and just blow anyone away that tries to stop you. Talk to talk with Sally in the bar for a lucrative opportunity. What? Didn't the hey, authority fella. say it had stabilized the work? cost of water? Some new well, let me give you some advice. Your reputation is everything here. If people don't know you, they don't like you, and you got to earn their respect. Best way to do that is by making the road safer. Simply stated, destroying bandits makes people like you and brings business into my little bar. So I'll make a deal with you. Every bandit car you destroy in the wasteland, I'll reward you a little. I'll make money. You make money. We got a deal? Sure. Excellent. I think you're learning how things work around here. Well, if it isn't a stranger from nowhere, care to try your... Nope, I'm good. You a mighty fine driver there. Reminds me of myself when I was your age. Some of you, unfortunately, will be asked to vacate your living. Bandits control the area of the wasteland. Wipe them out for an immediate reward. Vehicle quick use items like the shield can mean the difference between life and death in the wasteland. Visit the vendors to load on to load up on supplies. Hey there, pal. I see you made it back alive. Don't forget, if you need some repairs and you're close. Well, 
Good to see you again, friend. Almost gave you up or lost. And I see you ditched that arc suit. <laughs> Why, you could almost pass as one of us. Did old Clayton come through? I know you took some chances getting these back to me, but these supplies will really help my people. I always pay back any favors, so I want you to have my pride and joy. The Desert Striker crossbow. Holy Not shit. A typical bow. It has twice the punch, and no one will hear you use it. Now for the bad news. We've seen some authority patrols not far from here. They must have heard there's an ARC survivor somewhere. You best get back to Wellspring until things quiet down. And good luck, my friend. You were mighty helpful for me and my people. And it sure be nice having someone like you around here, but I can't take the risk of starting trouble with the authority. You be safe now. Hanging around here ain't safe. If I need anything, I'll have DR call you on the radio. Hey, pal. Mayor Clayton and Sheriff Black been asking about you. You in high demand around here. Remember, if you run out of ammo... ...stronger and more attractive to outside traders and travelers. Remember that when one of you is successful, all of us are... Good. You're back. I can use someone with your skills. Little problem up north that I need someone to check out. Bandits been digging in a crater north of here, and rumor has it they're refining pure feltrite. And in their hands, that's dangerous stuff. I'm gonna need you to run up there and take a look. Get me a sample of whatever the bandits are making. Uh, and I need you to get back here fast. It's a long drive through some mighty dangerous areas, so restock before heading out. Bring me a sample, and I'll see what you're generously you rewarded. Long drive to get there through some mighty dangerous areas. So make sure you're well stocked with supplies before you head out. All right. Now we're gonna go meet the sheriff and that is probably where I'm gonna call it for the night. Cause we are at time. Or we've been over time. You made it back, good thing. Got a problem and I believe you might be the man for the job. The North is a dangerous place for small buggies like yours. Afraid you're gonna need something with a little more muscle. You need to get your hands on a Caprino. I got supplies I need to run up North, but come back when you have the right wheels, all right? Our Jackie Weeks over by the track entrance. He can set you up with just the right race. Come back when you have the right wheels. The easiest way to get a Caprino is to win one. Try Jackie Weeks. He can set you up with just the right kind of race. All right. Well, we have a few things we can do. Obviously, we have that job board over there as well that we can also do. And I think we're probably going to do a couple of those uh, when we uh, when we kick off uh, tomorrow's uh, part.
as I say, that's where we're going to end it for for tonight. If you guys enjoyed what you've seen, you haven't already, don't forget to give me a follow over here on Twitch, turn on notifications for another go live. There are links below to follow me both Instagram and Twitter, so you get notified in any stream update, the stream updates and announcements that I may have. There's also a link to my uh, nice fancy schmancy little YouTube channel where you can, uh, you know, catch up on the vods for. The Mountain Blade Monday series, as well as the main playthroughs I do for the channel, as well as WPW Saturday Night Showdown and pay per views. And in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go find someone to raid. Who's on right now? We got a lot of people on tonight. Um. Let's see. I think I know who we're gonna raid. I'm just checking to see if he's gonna be off or not. seems like he's still going on so we're gonna go well i'm gonna send you guys over to shadow sense music my brother so he's currently playing persona 5 royal or royale however you want to pronounce it and rain message as always is the bounty hunter arrives in all caps uh so obviously tomorrow we got more rage and then friday i'll be joined uh i've invited mcmorgan the merc over my good buddy mcmorgan as well as another friend of mine for some warhammer 40k dark tide so we'll be doing that on friday at around 7 p.m est and then we got the return of wpw saturday night showdown uh, this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, car Again, if you're in the discord um, Cards should be posted uh, Either tonight or tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure But that is where I'm going to end things. Thank you all so much for watching Hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday night evening morning, whatever the case may be and I will see you guys uh, Tomorrow for some more rage So have a good night everyone and see ya